Hello everyone and welcome to the Scuffed Kitchen. Today we are making a true German classic. Falscher Hase! This dish is basically just a meatloaf, but a very tasty one. Falscher Hase translates to fake rabbit. This pork and beef based meatloaf got its name because of its size and its shape and because real rabbit meat was hard to come by after World War II. In any case, it's an effortless midweek treat for the whole family. So let's get started right away. Today we will need 500 grams of mixed pork and beef mince, half of a large onion, 60 grams of bacon bits, a stale German bread roll, a bunch of parsley, one tablespoon of spicy mustard, salt and pepper, one raw egg, and three hard-boiled eggs. Start the prep work by literally dunking the bread roll in a bowl of water. Crush the outer crust a bit to let the water flow into it more easily. Then set it aside. Next, begin the chopping by sharpening your knife. Chop the onion into medium-sized chunks. Then roll up the parsley and mince it into fine bits. And that's it for chopping for today. Now it's time to knead the actual meatloaf. Combine all of the ingredients, aside from the hard boiled eggs, in a large mixing bowl. In my case, I quickly realized that the bowl I chose was far too small, so I switched to a bigger one. The bread roll we dunked in the water earlier needs to be squeezed. Get your hands in there and thoroughly knead the meat mass until it all comes together. Your hands will feel rather greasy. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Then place half of the meat on it, creating a somewhat oblong shape. Arrange the hard boiled eggs in a straight line, then put the rest of the meat on top. Press the meat firmly, so there are little to no air gaps, and the outside is nice and smooth. Put the meatloaf in the preheated oven. It should bake at 200 degrees centigrade for about 45 minutes. Afterwards, pull the meatloaf out of the oven. You'll see plenty of juices have escaped, but that's mostly just excess water. Now cut the loaf into thick slices. And that's basically it. The rest of the loaf is good in the fridge for around two days, so you've got plenty of time to eat. I served this today with potatoes and peas on the side as well as a quick brown sauce I whipped up. And with that, we're done! I have to say, this recipe is super easy, very cheap and packs a flavor punch. Do give it a try. If you want to know how I made the sauce, let me know in the comments down below. And maybe I'll make a video on that. And while you're here, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!